Before we start our meeting, I'd, I'd like to make a statement. I know a lot of us have been getting questions about the digital domain issue and Florida State. And I'd just like to say that from the moment we learned about the digital domain and FSU, that that initiative could be in jeopardy. And that was, I'll let you know, only seven work days ago. Um, I assembled a core team of my senior staff to begin a comprehensive look and analysis and assessment of the various components of the impact of and the impact of each component and what that impact might be on our city. Since then, and under our direction, our team has been working to make sure that the city-owned land and public dollars are protected. This has been our highest priority. Our staff has also been in constant communication, discussions with all stakeholders and affected parties on a regular and ongoing basis. And as a matter of fact, today I had the opportunity to talk to the president of Florida State University. I'm briefed on their findings on a daily basis and often several times a day. As you can well imagine, these are all complex issues. And I'm very comfortable in how all aspects of the situation are being properly evaluated. And I'm most proud of the professional way our team has addressed some very sensitive and confidential and complicated matters. Throughout the time this issue has been developing, it's been a difficult challenge weighing the balance between keeping the public informed and the legal constraints associated with protecting our interests. And there have been legal constraints. I believe we're now at a place in which it is finally appropriate for us in the city to discuss many of the details surrounding the digital domain FSU project and what lies ahead. Tomorrow afternoon, I'll be holding a news conference to discuss our analysis, our current status, and what I believe is the most prudent course for us to take moving forward. The news conference will be available on our website, wpb.org. Updates during the news conference will also be sent out via Twitter, and our account is at West Palm BCH. I believe the press conference is going to be held at 3 o'clock tomorrow. If there's a change in that, we'll let you know. So thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to make that comment.